Informative speaking in public speaking. This is when your general purpose is to inform your audience. That's what you're gonna do. You're gonna fill us with the information. You, the expert, are going to teach us, the audience, about this subject that you have studied, that you know a lot about. When you're asked to give an informative speech, where do you start? There's so many subjects out there. Well, to start, you want to think about what kind of speech are you going to give. An informative speech typically falls into two categories, a lecture-based informative speech and a how-to informative speech. A lecture-based informative speech is going to take a topic and you are going to stand up there and present as the expert in this topic. You are going to inform your audience. You're going to do a lecture-style speech to give us the information and teach us about the subject. A how-to speech is just that. You, the expert, are going to teach us how to do something. Now, you don't have to necessarily keep these separate. There's also the ability to combine and create a lecture style speech where you're going to teach us about a topic, but perhaps there's an element of how to in there within the subject. You're going to give us the history, the information, and then teach us how to do something. These are the typical two categories for an informative speech with the general purpose to inform. So how do you go about picking your topic when there's a world of information and a world of topics all around for you to choose from? There's a few ways. In fact, you could even get out a piece of paper right now and write down some brainstorming ideas. Where do we start? When you're given the opportunity to speak on anything and there's no parameters, here's a good way for you to start and think about what you might want to talk about. What do I know a lot about? What am I already an expert in? An expert in because one, maybe I have experience, extensive experience in a subject. And so I can come up there with my experience and teach how to or teach about something because I have actual experience in this. That's a great way to start. What do you know a lot about already? Another, another area is what do you want to know more about? So those subjects where you're curious and interested and so the research process will be interesting to find the topic. What do you want to know more about? And through your research, you will become the expert in this topic. From there, you can even break it down. What do I know how to do? What do I want to know how to do if you're going to teach how to do something? Those are great starting points if you are given the option of doing an informative speech that you get to choose. We can even tailor it down a little bit more. What are events in history that I would like to speak about? Perhaps you know a lot about this or you would like to research more. Who is a person I would like to inform on? Again, you'd like to know more about or you already know a lot about. What is a um, a subject that I would like to teach about and inform the audience about? What is a current event or a past event that I would like to know more about or I already do know about? These are just ways for you to start as you're thinking about how to give an informative speech. But as you give your informative speech, know this, you want to build it with solid information solid information that is supported to truly inform your audience. You want to perhaps think about information that your audience does not know already. Sometimes as we pick different topics, we may think, hmm, well, I know we have learned about this all throughout schooling, but I love this topic. So what can I bring that is new? And I'm gonna give you a little example at the end. But what can you bring that's new to your audience? But if you are given the ability to choose your informative speech, the first place to start is start with something you like. 
if you're given that choice, something that you would enjoy speaking about. It is so much easier when we actually enjoy talking about the topic. Now, there may be times in life where you are asked to give a presentation or you're asked to pitch something or tell your find the information about something and give that to your boss and, and present on it, and you may not love the topic, but when we learn from a space of, I enjoy this topic, I would like to know more about this topic, I would like to speak on this topic, that just helps to prepare our voice and who we are as a speaker, which then helps us in those moments when we are perhaps a little less interested in the topic. So let me give you an example. We're gonna go back to when I was in my Intro to Public Speaking course, back way back when I was in college, in undergrad school. And we were given this same assignment to do an informative speech, which tells you that public speaking has not changed much over the years, right? The format has stayed the same. The basics have stayed the same. While things may change around it and styles may change people and things like that, the basic foundation and format is tried and true. Anyways, so let me just tell you about this speech that I gave, which was a speech I loved. And I started with an era of history that interested me on many levels. We'll get to what it was. And I did mix a little bit of lecture with a little bit of how-to. But something I also did was because I knew that this era was something that people had studied and heard about in their history classes throughout schooling, I went with a different approach. And in fact, the different approach was what made it uh, really, really something that I was, was passionate about and still love to this day. So here it is. My informative speech in school when I was an undergrad doing an intro to public speaking course was on World War II. That's a huge topic, way too big to fit a whole speech on World War II and say, I'm gonna tell you everything there is to know about World War II in this speech in five minutes. Not gonna happen. We would take so much time, lecture upon lecture upon lecture to uncover everything and still there'd be more to uncover about the, about the subject. So I narrowed it down. I am interested in that era the music of that time, the dance, the, the, the war itself and the things that happened, all of that is intriguing and interesting. But I decided to go with something I loved to do at the time and still love to do, and that is swing dancing. So swing dancing was part of the World War II era. And I still enjoy this today. So I took something that I had experienced in today and knew about today and, and used that in my speech. Okay, so how did I do this? Here's what I did. Big topic, World War II. I narrowed it down to what could happen in five minutes and to a topic that I would say a good chunk of my audience did not know about today. In fact, when I poll classes nowadays asking them about this topic, I rarely get one hand raised. So it's an intriguing, novel idea that your audience doesn't know a lot about. They lean in and go, I thought I knew everything, but I, I didn't know this. So my speech was specifically on the Swing Kid Rebellion of World War II. Did you know that there was a rebellion known as the Swing Kid Rebellion of World War II? Well, there was. And I went into the information about this rebellion, how they rebelled by dancing to the jazz and swing music that was banned in Germany. And their, their dress and attire was also their form of rebellion. They, them dancing was a form of rebellion. They were rebelling against what was happening in Germany. I went into all of that they learned about the consequences that these swing kids faced. A different approach to a topic that the audience probably knew a lot of other information about World War II, but not this specific information. And from there, the how-to came in. I enjoy swing dancing, and so I taught my audience the basic steps of swing dancing, what those kids then would have done, the basic foundation, none of the fancy tricks, just the basics. Here's the how-to, 
here's what they did. They used these steps in their rebellion. And there was my speech. My audience from there was able to get what could happen in five minutes, a five minute speech that tailored down to one specific area of World War II, gave a lecture element and a how-to element, but it was something I was interested in. So I enjoyed the stuff I knew and enjoyed expanding on that knowledge, which in turn created me enjoying talking about that and presenting to my audience. So there's your informative speech in a nutshell. Is there so much more we could talk about? Yes, but to start here, what do you want to do? Do you want to give us a lecture from an expert perspective? Or do you wanna teach us how to do something? Or combine the two and, and have a nice, rich speech on, 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 a, on something with the how-to. What are you gonna tell us? How are you gonna choose? Answering those questions of what am I interested in? What do I wanna know more about? What do I already know a lot about? Who is someone I could talk about? What is something, an event? These are places to start as you decide what you would like to inform your audience about.